The Scottish Government has already bound uh, by existing constitutional convention guarantees of independence of the judiciary. Um, in your view, what will creating a statutory guarantee of judicial independence add to the existing arrangements? It, I think it's been recognised internationally that it is important that this uh, guarantee of continued judicial independence should be firmly established in the constitutional structure of each uh, of the jurisdictions which, uh, to which it is, with which it is concerned. And it appears to me that, it, as has happened south of the border on England and Wales, where the Constitutional Reform Act has a similar provision, that it is of importance, as a signal, if nothing more, that there should appear in the legislation a recognition of the importance of judicial independence. It's not uh, an empty uh, provision because it does include, for example, the obligation on a range of persons uh, to have regard for the need for the judiciary to have the support necessary to enable them to carry out their functions. So that although I don't envisage that uh, we, I shall require to sit in any case which is actually deciding uh, uh, a legal issue turning upon the construction of these provisions, nonetheless the existence of, of them there in what I regard essentially as a constitutional document uh, is in my view uh, of importance and sends the right message. Uh, we live in uh, pleasant times. Times may not always be pleasant. There may arise circumstances in which there could be a conflict between the judiciary on the one hand and other arms of government on the other hand, and it's important in a legislation of this kind that the matter should be put firmly uh, in the way it has, in my view. So it's, uh, it may be viewed from the outside as symbolic at this particular time, but you're saying, Lord Hamilton, that uh, it could uh, in future times be actually more than symbolic. I think it could. I mean, there, there could, as I said, there, there's a matter of uh, the, the need to find support for the institutions, and it could, for example, in uh, very difficult times, financially, for example, uh, be important that the court should be able to say to the other organs of government, in order actually to carry out a proper judicial system in a democratic society, we require funding of certain minimal level in order to discharge that responsibility. And here is where you have the responsibility of providing it for us.